Welcome to a, a podcast. Toys from a galaxy far, far away. I'm Scott. And I'm James. Today we're going to um, give our Star Wars Resistance review. Trailer. Review. Trailer review. Uh, I know the new episodes are out. They came out on the 7th of October. So we're uh, not a little behind. But uh, I watched the trailer. Um, I don't have anything truly bad to say about it. I think it's going to be a good uh, children's cartoon, which I think is more the approach they're going to take. And I'm sure. This is what's good to it. Yeah, and I'm sure some of us other uh, more committed Star Wars fans will pick up smaller items in the uh, in the show that hopefully they'll involve. You know, this obviously takes place between uh, episode what six and seven. Uh, looks to me like it takes place right before the Force Awakens. Uh, yeah, uh, you you have the numerical down uh, better than I do sometimes. Yeah, uh, I I mean I don't know. I think it. I think Disney's got a good idea of what how they want to go into stuff. I like how they lately they've been putting movie you know these TV series and franchises into the larger franchise. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as, like, the Clone Wars takes place between Episode 2 and 3, um, and then they're now doing the, they did mm -hmm. the Rebels, which was between 3 and 4, and now this is going to be between, obviously, 6 and 7-ish, or just before 7. Mm -hmm. So so it takes place after Return of the Jedi, correct. but before The Force Awakens. Yeah. From what but I from the looks of it, it takes place closer to The Force Awakens than it does after Return of the Jedi, yeah. because... Uh, Poe was... How many years has went by? 20? 20 or so. 20 years? So, uh, Poe, we saw Poe and uh, General Princess Leia. Leia. Yeah, General Leia. Uh, um, BB-8. Yeah, so it's close to the Force Awakens. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So I think... Um, <clears throat> Uh, I like the animation, <clears throat> and uh, some of the ship designs were cool, <clears throat> but I, my, 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 my thing is this, where, where what, uh, as, from what I've seen from the trailer, what's the, what's the point? I'm not, I, maybe I'm just it, not getting it, the story, I just, um, well, the prequels were what led up to <clears throat> four, five, and Anakin, six. yeah, well, and what how Anakin became Darth Vader. <clears throat> it led up to Star Wars: A New Hope, and <clears throat> so now we've got an animated con animated cartoon that shows the events leading up to the Force Awakens. Which <clears throat> the Force Awakens wasn't really. I mean, it was basically a reboot of Star Wars, but. <clears throat> I don't know. I, <clears throat> I I'm not really interested in what led up to the Force Awakens. I, I don't well, know. I mean, if they're gonna do it, I, I think you could just do a small, not even a small movie, but just do a. If you want to do a, a small TV series of just following, I think the best would be following Han Solo. Very good point. Because Han Solo, say, I've been wondering about that. You know, you watch what some, happened. Why was Han still a smuggler, still doing a, what he was doing in A New Hope? When he had evolved from a new hope to return of the Jedi, so yeah, much. you know, you go from <clears throat> you know uh, smuggler, war hero, general, smuggler, because the best line is this: when Finn says, Han, "This is you Han Solo. This is the Millennium Falcon," um, he said, "You mean the you mean the general? No, the smuggler." And the thing is, is Han Solo always his character always seems to go back to what he what he knows best. Yeah, and it's, it, I don't know. it would have been good to see the transition of what he went through. Well, and yeah. why why he just said, oh, "I'm done with the rebellion. Yeah. I'm out." No, it's, it's to me, it's kind of a mess because <clears throat> I I really appreciated that they've brought back the original cast in Force Awakens. That's why I gave it a pass because I didn't love it, <clears throat> but I didn't hate it, and. I really appreciated that because I was what I and so many others wanted to see was the original cast, even though he didn't get Mr. Mark Hamill, which I talked to him on Twitter today. You didn't <clears throat> get Mark Hamill to the last five minutes, so 
No, no, no you know, last, last minute. I mean, yeah. Just, and no, no lines for the movie. So no. you got all this time and stuff that's happened between <clears throat> Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. 20 years has went by. <clears throat> we don't know. I need to be 30. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, sure. <clears throat> anyway, a few decades. So, what are all these people been doing? I mean, yeah, what have they been doing? Like, well, we got a, a back splash back story of Luke. Something bad happened, and then um, you know it had to do with Kylo, and it then that's the rent. Who knows where they're at? And then you know we're told, well, this stuff we got sprinklings of what happened, and this is why they're at where they're at. But I would rather see what happened to them. Like Solo was a good movie, but I'd rather see what happened to Han in between. <clears throat> A New Hope and Force Awakens. It would have connected the you mean the trilogies Jedi, now. Jedi and Awakens. I'm sorry. Yeah, Return of the Jedi, and Force Awakens. I really, it would hook the trilogies up better than they are now. Um, they would have connected them, and I would have had more of a connection. You know, this is all about emotion. It's all about how you feel about these movies. I mean, a lot of critics want to dissect it um, in cold terms, but. Uh, most people don't go to film school. So, Star Wars Resistance. Well, the trailer know. was, uh, we just watched it. Yeah, it was, uh, I, give it, I give it a 6, maybe 7 out of 10. Um, that's me being generous. I mean, I'm going into mm -hmm. it ready to watch a Star Wars TV Are you series. excited about it as, as you were the Clone Wars and um, <clears throat> Rebels? No, I, not that much. Um, when I found out that Clone Wars... Because I've always loved the clone. Clone troopers were, for me, everything. I always wondered why clone troopers became stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. And because I grew up with the prequels. The prequels were mm -hmm. around when I was, you know, a lot younger. Yeah. And I love the prequels. Um, you know, I always wondered, you know, Jango Fett, why... Um, and they kind of exploited that in the, the Clone Wars, why they stopped making clone troopers and started making stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. is because they didn't have enough DNA for Jango yeah. Fett. And when they were drafting them. You know what? Stealing yeah. them. I think that's where <clears throat> what happened to Finn... He was taken away from his parents when he was little, and or younger, and put in. I mean, he was into training, cons conscripted into uh, the first order. Yeah, you know, the first order. So, anyway, I mean, it's, I honestly, it's more of the same, and I don't know why they're stuck on this. I mean, I'd rather they're just, doing the just, trilogy, just pull just, some, and then just. Go way out there. Just just go yeah. right field with it. You know, exactly. Disney, if you want to go do a franchise, just do something that nobody's even seen yet. Go like, Old Republic. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Go Old Republic. You or can go something. Thrawn. I mean, you've yes. done Thrawn and Rebels, but you could just do the Chiss Ascendancy. Um, there's a lot of really great canon, or not canon, legend material out there that's that's been written, and you guys could, you know, just go into that, and I'm sure those Star Wars fans would be like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, well, uh, they uh, they had um, what was the creature's name? Um, the <laughs> crumb. Yeah, Celestius Crumb, or uh, a creature, creature like him. And we thought we saw a boss, a Trandosian. The yeah, and lizard. <clears throat> you know, Leia. I don't know who else might be in there, but um. So that would make Darter, Darth Vader's around there somewhere. Oh, well, no, no, no he, he died. He Return of the Jedi. So Kylo Ren's around there somewhere, probably. Or oh, Hux. I just don't care about it. Is I mean, the animation was cool. Some of the ship designs are cool. I might watch it for that whenever I get around to it. But I'm not going to go make an effort. I mean, I want to give this maybe a four out of ten. I'm just, the only thing I liked it. about it the most was the ships reminded me of the Tron Legacy ships. Some of them did. Yeah. It's a very like you know yeah. kind of like an. Looks like they were uh, racing through these uh, round. Uh, it's almost like hyperspace ring. Stargate ring almost, but yeah. <clears throat> it was just to keep them in for a minute, so they didn't veer. They all have to go the same distance. I'm sure that's what that was. All right. Well, that's our review of uh, Star Wars Resistance, uh, the trailer, and um, we're crossing our fingers. Right. It'll it'll be good. I'll it's watch. It with, I'll watch it with my son. I'm sure I'll yeah. enjoy maybe watching it. Whenever, yeah. Whenever we get around to it. Yeah. We're not. I'm not going to make an effort to see it. I don't. I don't have time a lot. <laughs> you know, I watch what I have to watch, and that's. 
Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.